Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm he, this guy, and this is his daddy, Mr. Roosevelt. And it's time to get into the bite. Yes. Wahoo in the boat, baby! Look at that kingfish right there. I mean, you talk about epic fishing days. Yeah! Nice bulldog right there. Pay tribute to the servicemen and women of this country by taking a veteran fishing. Before we get into this though, if you want to learn more about fishing, grab this an angler, and just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. Alright folks, like I said, we're taking a veteran fishing. It's one of my good buddies that I work with. I've known him for almost eight years. We fished together before and had very productive days. And I asked him if it would be all right if we made a tribute to veterans by filming him and his father on an offshore adventure. So we're not gonna waste much more time. We're gonna head out on the boat, meet the crew, rig up, and head offshore. All right, folks, it's another beautiful South Florida fishing morning. On the agenda today, we're gonna head offshore and take a veteran fishing. Everybody say hello to Marine Sergeant Guy Joseph. Now, more importantly than having this vet on the boat is we have the man who is responsible for his life. <laughs> We've got Guy's father. He's the real fisherman of all three of us, so that's how that's gonna go. Okay, so we're heading towards the inlet. We're rigging up. We're gonna head offshore, do a little bit of trolling, a little bit of reef fishing. We've got a hundred ideas going on, kind of scatterbrained right now. We've got to get our plan and get it together before we hit that inlet so that we all are on the same page. Anyway, you know what that means. We'll see you out on the water. I'm gonna do with these gentlemen is we're gonna do some trolling over the deep ledge of the reef. We're gonna set out a planter, top water lure, see if we can nab, you know, whatever may be roaming around. And so we got the planter up, we got the top water lure out, and we're trolling around, and before you know it, that line started zinging out. <laughs> Pick it up, you can do it like that. You can move the, the cooler so you can sit down. That's a smart one, you sit down, huh? You want to see? Little guy. That's fine. First fish, nice little painter hit. Gotta see if it's stuck. Go to dog, suck. Okay. You got up seaweed. kingfish from Mr. Roosevelt. That man is so strong, he was winding it in. He was calling that fish little as he was reeling in, saying that it didn't feel like there was a fish on. All right, so we proceeded to troll up and down the reef's ledge a little bit more. And then we decided to call it quits and go hit a reef spot that I know when we can punish some yellowtail snapper. We parked up on the reef at about 70 feet. Let's see if we can uh, get some yellowtail going on in here. We got a north current, which is good for, you know, bottom fishing. Yep, yeah, yeah, it'll take about, you know, 20, 30 minutes to get them up. So we got a couple of chum bags out. 
We got a marine on the boat and his tappy. Yes. He's already fishing. Hopefully uh, he'll get an early bite and uh, we can mimic what he's doing. We got two chum blocks. Gonna give him some shake. We got a nice north current going on, which is good for bottom fishing. So, you know, that will draw in your grouper and your mutton snapper. Yellowtail tend to not really care whether it's north or south, but you need current if you're gonna fish a reef and try and get in on some snapper. Sardine? No, I'm just We're using silver sides for bait and double hooked yellowtail jigs. Break that up. Measure out where your trailer hook goes. Hook that in. Hook in your top hook on your jig. That's some yellowtail candy. Let it out. Keep letting mine out till you feel the bite. Hopefully they're there. <laughs> hey, hey, Mr. Rose on. Tight. Yeah, I got yeah it. I there got we it. go. Let's think about your daddy catching fish. Well, yes, for him, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, sir. Like Best I said, best, right? some good fun. Here come our yellow tail. Look at him coming in hot. Coming in hot right there. That's a good one right there. This is uh. All right. In cool. the boat. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> All Woo. right, that's some good fun All right there. Right. It's all yellow tails right now. We're we're on them. There we go. I didn't lose them, did I? Or did you? To, nice one. Nice swimming to you. Yeah. Got him. Get him up in the boat. There we go. Look at that. Look at that uh, yellow tail. Woohoo! Get my line. Ooh, I do. And we got your line. <laughs> Oh, this, this is nice. Yellowtail, huh? Right on the boat. On the yellowtail right now. Having a bit of fun out here on the reef. Everybody's catching some, which, you know, makes it for a great day. And they're all keepers. Every single one of them that's coming over the rail. So we're in a good pot of them. And uh, yellowtail tend to be like that. When you catch them, whatever size you're catching them, they're going to be closely related in size. Coming up with some more yellowtail tight. There we go. Nice. All right. There she goes. And so we definitely kicked butt on the yellowtail fishing. Had some great fun. And the day was almost over, but I wanted to do one more thing to sort of make this trip a little special for them. So I decided to show them a little bit of high-speed trolling for Bonita. A tactic that I don't think they'd ever done before. And I thought it would be a little bit of fun if we could at least hook one. So we deployed that line and started boogieing down. And the next thing you know, bam! Nice little false island for a hit. And Guy got to reel it in for the final fish of the Take a Veteran Fishing Trip. Fish on! Did a little bit of high speed trolling with a uh, mini turbo slammer. Got hooked up. There we go. You don't have to get up, no? Eh, it's fine. You can wind it just like that. It should be target species false albacore. Taking a vet fishing, man. Doing, having a great day. Kingfish, yellowtail. Now we're on the false albacore. Do a little bit of high speed trolling. You got it. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's mad. Pick him up. Pick him up. All right. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Give me a second. Let's get him in the bucket. So there you have it. An epic offshore adventure that came full circle. Take a veteran fishing trip. It's been a long time in the making. Like I said, I've fished with Guy before and we finally got to get out and get this done and get it done right. All right, folks, that about does it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed, hope you had fun, and I hope this was some good old fashioned entertainment, paying tribute to the service men and women who protect our country day in and day out. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us.